Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to go through the solutions to the questions on harder trigonometric equations. If you want to give these questions a try and haven't done so, you can find a link to them in this video's description. So let's start with this first question here. We're going to subtract cos theta from both sides. This will give us 2 cos square theta minus cos theta equals 0. Now we can factorise out cos theta, so we get cos theta and then a bracket, and inside this bracket is 2 cos theta minus 1. This means either cos theta equals 0, or the bracket is equal to 0, so 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0. The second one of these equations rearranges to give cos theta equals 1 half. So we can solve both of these two equations using the graph. Let's start with cos theta equals 0, we draw a horizontal line at 0. You can see there are two solutions to this, they are theta equals 90 and 270. And we'll also draw a horizontal line at 1 half, and there are two solutions to this as well. You can find the first one of those by doing inverse cos of 1 half, that will show you 60 degrees, and the other one we can get from the symmetry of the graph, so 360 take away 60 is 300. So we end up with two more solutions, they're 60 and 300. So altogether there are four solutions, 60, 90, 270 and 300 degrees. For this question we'll subtract 2 tan theta from both sides, so we get 3 tan squared theta minus 2 tan theta equals 0. Now we factorise out a tan theta. Inside the bracket we'd need 3 tan theta take away 2. So either tan theta equals 0, or 3 tan theta take away 2 equals 0. The second one will rearrange to give tan theta equals 2 thirds. So let's draw the graph of y equals tan theta which looks like this. And we'll start with tan theta equals 0, so a horizontal line at 0. And you can see there are three solutions to this one, they're 0, 180 and 360. We'll also draw a horizontal line at 2 thirds. And there are two solutions this time. If you do inverse tan of 2 thirds you'll get the first one, which is 33.7 degrees, and to get the other one you just add 180 to this, and that'll give you 213.7 degrees. So there's two more solutions, and altogether we have five solutions, 0, 33.7, 180, 213.7, and 360 degrees. For this question we'll subtract sine theta from both sides, so we'll get sine cubed theta minus sine theta equals 0. Now factorise out sine theta, and inside the bracket would be sine squared theta minus 1. Now either sine theta equals 0, or sine squared theta minus 1 equals 0. For the second one, if we add 1 to both sides we get sine squared theta equals 1, and then if we square root we get sine theta equals plus or minus 1, which can be split into two equations, sine theta equals 1 and sine theta equals negative 1. So there are three equations to solve. Let's think of the graph of sine theta which looks like this. And we'll start with 0, so a horizontal line at 0. That gives three solutions, 0, 180 and 360. And then also a line at 1. That gives only one solution, that's 90 degrees. And also a line at negative 1. That also gives just one solution at 270 degrees. So there are five solutions altogether. 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. For this question we're going to times by 2 on both sides and also divide by cos on both sides. This will give you sine theta over cos theta equals 2 fifths. Of course sine theta over cos theta is just the same as tan theta, so we get tan theta equals 2 fifths. To solve this we can look at the graph of tan theta, and we'll draw a line at 2 fifths. We can see there are two solutions, so if you do inverse tan of 2 fifths you'll get the first one, that's 21.8 degrees, and if you add 180 to this you'll get the second one, which is 201.8 degrees. So there are only two solutions to this one, 21.8 and 201.8 degrees. For this question we're going to get all terms on the left, so we'll subtract tan theta and 6 from both sides. This will give you tan squared theta minus tan theta minus 6 equals 0. This is a quadratic that we can factorise. You'd end up with tan theta plus 2 and tan theta minus 3 equals 0. So either the first bracket equals 0, in which case tan theta plus 2 equals 0, which rearranges to give tan theta equals negative 2, or the second bracket could be 0, so tan theta minus 3 equals 0, which if you add 3 to both sides gives you tan theta equals 3. So we've got two equations to solve here, let's look at the graph of tan theta, and we'll start by drawing a line at negative 2. You can see there are two solutions here that are required, however if you do inverse tan of negative 2 you actually get this solution here, negative 63.4 degrees. So to get the other two solutions we're just going to add 180, so if we do negative 63.4 plus 180, we get the first one, which is 116.6. And then if we add 180 to this as well, 
we'll get the second one, which is 296.6. Now we'll look at tan theta equals 3, so a horizontal line at 3, and you can see there are two solutions. To get the first one, do inverse tan of 3, which is 71.6 degrees, and then add 180 to this, and you'll get the second one, which is 251.6 degrees. So altogether we have four solutions, 71.6, 116.6, 251.6, and 296.6. For this question, we'll subtract 7 sine theta from both sides, so we get 4 sine squared theta minus 7 sine theta plus 3 equals 0. This one factorizes, we end up with 4 sine theta minus 3 and sine theta minus 1 equals 0, which gives us two equations, so either 4 sine theta minus 3 equals 0, which rearranges to give sine theta equals 3 quarters, or sine theta minus 1 equals 0, which rearranges to give sine theta equals 1. Now we look at the graph of sine theta. We'll start with sine theta equals 3 quarters, so draw a line at 3 quarters. That gives you two solutions. To get the first one, do inverse sine of 3 quarters, which is 48.6 degrees, and to get the other one, just subtract this from 180, which is 131.4 degrees. So we have two solutions from that one, and then we've got sine theta equals 1. There's only one solution to this one. You can see it crosses the graph at 90 degrees. So we add 90 degrees in. So we've got 48.6, 90 degrees, and 131.4. For this question, we're going to subtract 11 tan theta and then add 5 to both sides. This gives us 2 tan squared theta minus 11 tan theta plus 5 equals 0. This one will factorize, we get 2 tan theta minus 1 and tan theta minus 5 equals 0. So either the first bracket equals 0, in which case 2 tan theta minus 1 equals 0, which rearranges to give tan theta equals a half, or the second bracket equals 0, so tan theta minus 5 equals 0, which gives tan theta equals 5. So let's draw the graph of tan theta, and we'll start by drawing a line at 1 half. There are two solutions to this. If you do inverse tan of 1 half, you'll get the first one, that's 26.6. And to get the second one, add 180 to that, which will give you 206.6 degrees. So we get two solutions from that equation, and also tan theta equals 5, so draw a line at 5, and do inverse tan of 5 to get the first one, which will give you 78.7 degrees, and just add 180 to this as well to get the second one, which will give you 258.7. So altogether there are four solutions, 26.6, 78.7, 206.6, and 258.7. For this question, we're going to subtract 7 cos theta and then add 3 to both sides, so we get 2 cos squared theta minus 7 cos theta plus 3 equals 0. This one will factorize, we get 2 cos theta minus 1 and cos theta minus 3 equals 0, which gives us two equations, 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0, which will rearrange to give cos theta equals 1 half, and also cos theta minus 3 equals 0, which rearranges to give cos theta equals 3. Now let's look at the graph of cos theta. We'll start with cos theta equals 1 half, so a horizontal line at 1 half. There are two solutions here. If you do inverse cos of 0 0.5, you'll find the first one at 60 degrees. And to get the second one, subtract this from 360, which gives you 300 degrees. So there are two solutions to the first equation. Now there are actually no solutions to the second equation. If you draw a horizontal line at 3, you'll see it doesn't cross the cos graph at all. In fact, if you do inverse cos of 3, you'll get an error on your calculator. So this part of the equation gives us no solutions, so the only solutions we have are 60 and 300, so that's the answer to the question. In the first part of this question we need to use identities to show this is true. So we'll start with the left hand side, and we need to end up with the right hand side. What we'll do is replace the cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. So we've got 5 lots of 1 minus sine squared theta minus 4. If we expand this bracket, 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times negative sine squared theta, we've got minus 5 sine squared theta, and then minus 4. Obviously 5 take away 4 is 1, so this ends up being 1 minus 5 sine squared theta, which is what we wanted to show. Then we're asked to use this to solve this equation. I notice the left hand side of this equation is the same as the left hand side of the identity in the previous part. So we can replace this with the right hand side of the identity. So instead of 5 cos squared theta minus 4, we're going to write 1 minus 5 sine squared theta. Now we can solve this equation. If you take away 1 from both sides and add 5 sine squared theta to both sides, you'll end up with 0 equals 5 sine squared theta plus 4 sine theta minus 1. This factorizes to give 5 sine theta minus 1 and sine theta plus 1, which gives us two solutions. 5 sine theta minus 1 equals 0, which rearranges to give sine theta equals 1 fifth, 
or also sine theta plus 1 equals 0, which rearranges to give sine theta equals negative 1. We can solve both of these equations for the left one. If you do inverse sine of 1 fifth, you'll get this answer, 11.5 degrees. And the other solution from that one is 180 take away this answer, which is 168.5 degrees. And sine theta equals negative 1, you should know from the graph there's only one solution to this, 270 degrees. For this question, we need to show an identity again, so we'll start with the left-hand side, and we need to end up with the right-hand side. What we're going to do is separate this into two fractions. So we'll have 4 sine theta over cos theta, and for the second one, minus 3 cos theta over cos theta. You can see sine theta over cos theta there, which is tan theta, and then cos thetas will cancel in the second one, just giving you negative 3, which is what we wanted to show. Now we need to use this to solve the equation below. Notice how the left-hand side of the identity in the previous part is very similar to the right-hand side of the equation we're solving. The only difference is that over cos theta. So what I'm going to do in this equation is divide by cos theta on both sides. If I divide by cos theta on the left-hand side, I just get tan squared theta. And if I divide by cos theta on the right-hand side, I've just got all of this over cos theta. Now this right-hand side matches the left side of the identity. So I can replace that with the right-hand side of the identity, which is 4 tan theta minus 3. Now I've got a quadratic only involving tans. So let's minus 4 tan theta and add 3 to both sides. That'll give you tan squared theta minus 4 tan theta plus 3 equals 0. And we'll factorise this to get tan theta minus 1, tan theta minus 3 equals 0. And this gives us two equations to solve. Tan theta minus 1 equals 0, which gives you tan theta equals 1. Or tan theta minus 3 equals 0, which gives tan theta equals 3. To solve these, we'll do inverse tan of 1, which is 45 degrees, and then add 180 to that to get the second solution, which is 225 degrees. If you do inverse tan of 3, you get 71.6 degrees, and add 180 to that, you get 251.6 degrees. So we have four solutions all together, and there they are. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the video I think you should watch next, and subscribe, so you don't miss out on future videos.